hey, I want to share a story with you today. Back in uh, September 23rd, 1908, that's 1908, the New York Giants were playing the Chicago Cubs, and they were playing for first place. Uh, it was one to one, and it was the la the ninth inning, and and uh, uh, one of the players, Fred Merkel, who was the first baseman for the Giants, was now on first base as a runner, and there was another runner on second base. There was a base hit to right field. The run scored, and the Giants won the game, or did they? Well, you see, young Fred Merkel, who was 19 at the time, was running to second. But in those days, the fans were actually allowed on the field. And all of a sudden, when the winning run scored, the people just came in crazily on, 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 on the players. And Merkel, looking, got nervous. And before he got to second base, he ran into the dugout. One of the players, Johnny Evers on the Cubs, recognized that and started screaming for the ball. Now, whether he got the actual ball or not, we don't know. But what happened is he got a ball, stepped on second base, and the umpire called out Merkel. The Cubs ended up winning and going to the World Series that year because of what's been known as the Merkel boner. Well, a few things I'd like to unpack here. Number one, he was 19 years old. How many 19-year-olds don't make mistakes? Number two, he had a, a mob rushing at him and thinking that the run already scored and, and not knowing all the baseball rules that he, he needed to get to second base to make it official. He turned around and ran. But you know something? He died at 67. He was successful in the rest of his life, but he was always known for the Merkel boner. And, and I want to talk to you a little bit today about our identity. You see, Merkel's identity was not the boner. He lived a successful life, raised three beautiful kids, was married for over 40 years, but the world remembers him that way. And, and, and I don't know what it is that the world is gonna remember you for today if you passed, but I pray that you recognize that whatever was in the past, the mistakes, the boners in your, in, in your past, that they will not define you. Today is a new day, and, and today you could choose not to be remembered that way and start something fresh. Because remember something, your identity and, and what people know you for means nothing unless the God of creation knows you and is well pleased with you. So I hope that today you'll recognize that you do not have to be defined by the past, but rather you could be defined what happens tomorrow. We talked about that already, but I wanted to drive it home because it's so incredibly important, not only for you, but for your family and for all of us, because you can have a great impact on the rest of this world. I'm Joe Pellegrino, and this has been a Legacy Minute.